While we were all drooling over the Tesla semi truck Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes Benz actually delivered two fully electric semi trucks this week. That's right, Daimler beat Tesla by a lot, actually. Uh, the Tesla semi truck is probably not going to be in production until early 2021. Uh, and uh, this, this, this baby right here is going to be on the road in the next pretty much few weeks. Uh, deliveries happened earlier this week. And uh, let's talk about, you know, is, is this a better semi truck than, uh, than a Tesla semi truck? And of course, the answer is complicated. In some ways it is, but in some ways it isn't. So let's talk about it right now. Welcome to e for electric your number one source of unbiased electric car news If this is your first time here go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward All right, so uh, Freightliner Freightliner I just literally learned how to pronounce it today because I am uh, not very proficient in the in in uh, semi truck uh, a space, but this is Daimler. It's a parent company of Mercedes, a uh, Freightliner, uh, and this one's called e Cascadia. Um, it's right here. They actually have a video of it as well. <clears throat> that, by the way, is shot like I don't know if I would have asked my mom to shoot a video on my cell phone while I'm driving of another car. So that's the production quality here. But listen, it's a it's it's not a bad looking truck. I mean, you probably have seen something similar on the road already. Um, that's because uh, there is one uh, called Cascadia, and it's been around for a while. It's obviously a, 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 um, uh, you know a fossil fuel part uh, truck where this one's all electric. Um, and, and that's one of the advantages. So um, now let's talk about specs really quick. Uh, it's got a 250 mile range. Uh, it has a 550 kilowatt um, hour battery, which is pretty massive. Um, and it can charge uh, in about an uh, hour and a half, it can charge an extra 200 miles, uh, which, is, which is very decent. Uh, a lot of times uh, the charging uh, uh, speed is not as, as as big of a deal for these trucks because uh, what's going to happen, they're going to have charging stations at the warehouses, at the distribution centers. So it's not a downtime really while the truck is being loaded and unloaded. It's at, at the same time charging and, and, and therefore kind of killing two birds with one stone. Now, as I mentioned, 250 miles, that's half of what the Tesla semi truck is, um, is going to be offering. But it's here now. Um, now, the, the, that's that's obviously a, a disadvantage. Now, the advantage is, is exactly what I just mentioned. Uh, Cascadia trucks are probably one of the most respected semi trucks out there. Uh, they've been around for a while. It's a Daimler brand, Daimler trucks. Um, and, and so it's not just like from scratch created truck. It, uh, it's, it's been proven. And yes, the technology is new, but a lot of other things have already been taken care of, um, especially obviously the electronics and, and, and many other things. So, so that's a big advantage where, you know, Tesla semi truck is kind of a from scratch type of a project. They'll probably have other issues and, and, and things to, uh, including design that they will have to probably update and upgrade in the future as, as the real companies are using this. Uh, just like I said, this one actually went to uh, Penske and NFI. And I believe they're going to be operational in uh, Southern California. So maybe one of these days I'll be able to actually check one out. Um, not a bad looking truck. Uh, and and the, the hap caps are, are actually obviously for the extended range, but they kind of look like, uh, uh, have you ever put that like something from Ikea, you know, you screw something, then you have to put a little cap on. I think it was designed by the same, by the same uh, uh, manufacturer, but it, it actually looks kind of slick. I, I don't, I don't mind that at all. Um, I don't mind when cars look a little bit like toys. It's, it's kind of like uh, the very first uh, uh, Apple uh, iMac, I think it was called. But anyway, I digress. So the, now, by the way, there's another thing that I should mention now. This is a semi truck. Now the box truck, the called EM2, uh, was already delivered pretty much at the end of last year, beginning of this year, um, I believe also to a, a Penske. And uh, this truck is uh, also a, a big utility truck. It uh, goes um, 230 miles on one charge and uh, has a battery of um, 325 uh, kilowatt hours. So there's a truck on the road right now. Um, 
that's from the Mercedes. So these are two uh, main trucks that they are basically going to be moving forward to. Now I should mention though um, that um, the the uh, this is a pilot program from a semi truck. Uh, they've delivered two. They will continue de delivering, I think, another ten or so um, this year. But it's still kind of a pilot program. Uh, the real ones. Well, I shouldn't say the real ones. The 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 uh, at volume they're going to start delivering uh, closer to the end of the next year, which again still beating Tesla, but never. Nevertheless, this is this is quite impressive and you know they kind of had to get in there I mean they don't want to lose by the way it's totally breaking all the road rules right there <laughs> at least at least uh then never mind uh, 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 but but you know, a uh, diamond had to do it. They're they're kind of the leader in it, uh, one of the leaders in the industry, and they obviously didn't want to get beat to the market. And yes, the range is half of it. But don't forget, these trucks they don't necessarily always deliver uh, a long distance. Uh, you know, 200, 250 miles is not bad at all, especially if there's a stop in between, uh, whether to rest right uh refuel or a lot of times maybe drop off of and pick up uh, extra uh, merchandise uh and and that's where they can uh charge if they really want to get you know the full 500 miles out of it again nowhere clear nowhere close to what tesla is going to offer but nevertheless now let's compare it uh to tesla and see what you know what what this means uh for them of course before that a quick reminder that this uh, video and this channel is sponsored by byton uh all electric suv coming to the us coming to europe at the end of the next year starting at only forty five thousand dollars before the incentives but look how fast it is to reserve one mainly because there is no payment section uh there that's right it's absolutely free to reserve your byton so go to the description of this video and reserve your Biden today. All right, so let's talk about the Tesla semi truck. And um, I believe I'm, I'm still one of the few, if not like the only journalist that ever, or YouTube or whatever you want to call me, um, uh, that ever was able to sit uh, behind the wheel of this baby. This was during the unveiling event um, at their design studio in Hawthorne, California. Um, that was pretty cool. Actually, uh, Franz is right behind me kind of explaining how things work and stuff like that. So that was a pretty cool experience. Unfortunately, I only got, what, about a minute or two. Uh, we'll see how long this video is. But it was really cool to sit behind the wheel of this truck because not that many people have since then or even uh, during that event. So that was um, that was pretty cool. But uh, nevertheless, um, the semi truck will have so many more features. It will probably have the self driving capabilities. Now I don't know if Daimler is hiding that they're working on 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 them as well because they probably are. I mean. They, they 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 are getting there as well for their mercedes cars uh of course you never want to promote it that way because a lot of uh semi truck owner uh owners are you know single uh, or small uh, uh businesses and they don't want to know that they're going to be replaced uh by actual computers which they are probably another five to ten years most semi truck uh, drivers will not have a job unfortunately but I'm sure there will be other things. Uh, and this is why I'm poor. If you're a semi-truck driver, you know, this is the time to probably start kind of a reconfiguring your career and finding uh, something that's, if not different, but something uh, uh, in a different industry, maybe. Uh, so just kind of heads up. I, I don't, don't shoot the messenger here. Um, I'm just saying that what, what, where we all going with this. So, but yeah, it, it, so by the time that Tesla delivers their first semi-truck, I believe it's going to be early 2021, which is a year and a half from now. Um, you know, uh, Daimler might get closer to 500 uh, mile range. I don't think they will. I think they might get another 100, so maybe 350 miles or so, but they won't get to 500. So Tesla absolutely have to deliver that range for sure. Now, one thing that I think uh, Tesla is definitely at a disadvantage, they definitely need to do as aggressive and wide of a test pilot program as and they're doing that right they're, they're I, I hope all of those uh, uh stops that their semi truck does uh, the prototype on the way here and there they're not just to showcase it i'm, I'm sure they're getting some uh, feedback a lot of feedback from the real semi truck uh, drivers and companies and their needs so by the time it hits the market there's not a bunch of things like oh we didn't know that semi truck drivers needed that and without it it's kind of piece of junk for them i hope that i hope they really do that um I have talked to semi truck uh, company owners at the unveiling event. They were pretty impressed. Um, a, a few of them have ordered, and you know there are quite a few orders there. Uh, and uh, one thing that Tesla does have going for them, as far as the testing is concerned, well, more than one really, uh, but the most important one is that they're using these uh, what one or two prototypes that they have uh, to deliver cars to haul parts between uh, uh, the Gigafactory and the Freeman factory. So they are kind of their own test pilot program, which is not the same. I know people are going to say, well, they're doing the same thing. No, no, 
know when you're when you're giving your product to the into the hands of the customer that is a completely different thing but but they are doing the uh, <coughs> Uh, and they're doing the uh, next best uh, thing, uh, which is uh, using this truck for their own hauling needs. But uh, this is getting interesting, you know. Um, not good enough competition, I would say, as far as the range is concerned and some of the specs, but definitely good enough to be in the market and be testing. And I'm, I'm really excited. And again, I, I'm not rooting. I, people think I root against Tesla. I'm rooting for the competition because Tesla cannot win the, the entire world and sell all of these cars to everybody, right? We definitely need the competition. We definitely need other uh, uh, companies to jump in and, and, and start uh, electrifying their fleet. And this is a great start for, for Daimler, uh, two different utility trucks. So congratulations to them. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think of this especially if you're a semi-truck driver let me know if you would trust the Daimler more than you would trust Tesla or you think that Tesla might actually be a, a better choice because of how much technology and uh, electric car knowledge they bring uh, into uh, the industry quick uh, thank you to one of my newer patrons Neil Weaver thank you so much for joining my patreon community the only place where you can watch me live but really as a lot of you know, I'm, I do this full time. So thank you for helping me really put uh, the bread on my table. Uh, thank you to Neil and uh, the rest of my Patreon community. And another quick note, don't forget to get on our free VIP list where we deliver a bonus story every Saturday to you. Something that we just cannot fit into the new cycle of the entire week. I already know there are a couple of stories we won't be able to. So I will definitely send it to you by email. So that's free. Go to e4electric.com slash V. IP. All right, looking forward to your comments other than that. See you next time and remember to stay charged.